With just three MPs at the last election, the question is, has Plaid Cymru got any hope of being a fighting force in Westminster? Well, if the latest figures are to be believed, Labour are cementing now their lead in Wales. Of course, they uh, have a minority government there, and the Liberal Democrats and Plaid are on course for historically bad results. OK, uh, joining us now, the Plaid Cymru leader, that's uh, Leanne Wood. Leanne, good morning to you. Thanks for getting up so early. Good morning. Yeah, but you've got a lot of campaigning to do, haven't you? Because you're sort of, uh, you know, you're trailing there behind uh, Labour and the, the Conservatives. And what I was wondering, Leanne, is why haven't you guys got the dominance of the other national parties, the SNPs and the Sinn Féin's? We're a different party and a different country, but our local election results that we had just a, a few weeks ago showed that in those areas where we are uh, strong on the ground, where our activists work hard, we actually won some seats, which we are now looking to, uh, to, to target in this election. And so I'm hopeful that we will see an increase in the number of MPs that we see. And we have to see an increase in the number of MPs from Plaid Cymru if Wales is to have a voice and if Wales is to be defended and people in Wales are to be defended in the event of a Tory government with an increased majority because well, there are many risks that come with that for people here in Wales. But you see, that Tory government that you're so frightened about, um, wouldn't things be better if you, Leanne, were in Westminster? Would you not be seen as a stronger force? And I mean you, I mean you personally. Well, I've got a fantastic team of candidates, and here in the Ronda, Branwen Kennard is going to be a, a brilliant yeah, MP. Yeah, but they're not in charge, the Leanne. You're the boss. You're the boss. Well... The primary institution for us is our National Assembly. And if Wales is to progress, we have to have a Plaid Cymru government after 2021. And I'll be leading Plaid Cymru's campaign in the National Assembly to be the, the, the government party. But this election uh, is, is in front of us now. Quite a lot is at stake for Wales. And the only way that we will be protected is by voting for that large team of Plaid Cymru MPs. And I just say to you viewers, many of whom may be considering voting Labour. They might like Jeremy Corbyn's policies, for example. They can't vote for them in Wales, of course. They've got a separate manifesto, and the Labour Party in Wales have airbrushed their leader uh, out of their campaign. You can't uh, vote to end zero hours contracts, for example, uh, via Jeremy Corbyn in Wales, because in Wales, Labour have voted against abolishing zero hours contracts no less than seven different times and on the bedroom tax, when Plaid Cymru have put forward proposals to end evictions for the bedroom tax, Labour in Wales have voted against us. So a vote for Labour is a vote for uncertainty. You have no idea what position your Labour MP will push. Uh, and it's highly likely that if you vote for a, a Labour MP in Wales, you'll be voting for somebody to, uh, after this election, stab their leader in, a, in the back. So. The Brexit negotiations are going to be really important for Wales. Leanne. If we want to have a strong voice in those negotiations, yes. then Plaid Cymru is, is the well, way to vote. It's interesting you say that because haven't you put yourself in the same sort of problem bracket that the Lib Dems have nationally, which is you are pro Remain and yet Wales voted to leave. So, in a sense, you do not tap into the mood of your nation. I was on the Remain side, yes, but we accepted the result as soon as it was declared. We've not rode back from that position and, in fact, we've put forward a positive post-Brexit plan for Wales, which is all about safeguarding jobs and creating the conditions uh, for future jobs that are 200,000 jobs reliant on access to the single market. Our farming industry is reliant uh, upon access to the single market. There are so many big questions for us here in Wales as we leave the European Union and it's vital that we have a voice. Do you know what? We've been largely ignored since that referendum. Gibraltar has had more attention than Wales has had. That has to change. Theresa May well, is we clearly haven't ignored you the today. leader you've, you've of had a English good say today. Lovely. Thank Leanne, really appreciate your time today. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, this time next week we'll, we'll all be out of our misery. We'll all know what's happened. Thank you very much indeed.